got me. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Lamont Tyson. Getting ready to go train back with my wife. Give y'all a little video to look out to get the back right. Um, I told you I don't really do nothing as far as pre-workouts. No more than Conopoy, Yo Hemi Fuel, and Green Tea. I'm drinking that now. And my last meal was about two hours ago. I had egg whites, strawberries, and spinach. Y'all stay tuned. This is going to be a good workout. My wife is here, so you know I'm going to go extra hard. You want to say something, sweetie? Don't do me no favors. You don't got to go hard. We'll see y'all in the gym. All right, Life Gainers. We start this exercise off with three sets of pull-ups to get the back warmed up. My wife can't quite do eight to ten, so I get her to go as many as she can go and hold it and get off. It's a good way for anyone who doesn't have a good lot of upper body strength to get their pull-ups in. There I go, getting mine in, starting to let it go. This is my last set. Started to get a little tired on this one, but still got it in. Next, right here, you're gonna hit a superset. Reverse grip pull down, trying to work on that upper back thickness. Make sure you sit up right. Pull, squeeze those lats, get those elbows down as far as possible. As soon as you get done doing 10 of that, walk right on over. If you got this machine in your gym, and give yourself some seated rows. Keep your form good, squeeze hard. Any loving spouse is not going to let their spouse stay home. You're going to bring them to the gym so they can get their muscles on, so they can stay around to you in your late hundreds. And here's my wife. She's doing wide grip pull downs, working on her width. She looks like she's a little tired. Eyes closed, like she's trying to pray every time she pulls. But she's getting it in, so let her get it, however ugly it looks, but she got it in. Then you go on over there and get your rolls in. Keep it going. Make sure that you stretch it out, guys, and pull it back. Get those elbows far back as possible. That's how you really engage that back, and you get a good squeeze from this. Next, we did some bent over dumbbell rows, and I hate this exercise, but this is good for putting meat on your back. Right here, I'm getting warmed up with the 70s. Let it go all the way down, guys. Stretch it up, get that elbow back. Like I said, that's how you do the best to engage your back, by stretching that elbow as far back as possible. Under control, keep it under control. Got my wife doing them, she don't do much with them. She hasn't done them that often, so I was just trying to help her get a form right. I would have liked to seen her bend over a little more and get her head up, but this was her first lightweight working set. Ladies, this is real good for you. You wanna build a nice back, keep that nice and formed. Go ahead and give this a try. Really, really good for building your back. Next on this back day, this little exercise, a friend of mine who's in the bodybuilding who has a really, really wide back. His back looked like a kite and a cobra combined. He turned me on to this one. It's supposed to be good with getting, getting some width in there, making sure that back looks like a kite when you stand up, take your shirt off at the beach or what may have you. Just If you've got this machine in your gym, you just go from side to side and you pull across your body. Try to keep it under control. And you want to try to go heavy with this for as much as you can for about 8 to 10 reps. There's Crystal getting hers in with her eyes closed. 
I think she'd be daydreaming about food while she's getting her workout on. She's getting through and she's got a 45 pound plate up there. She's getting her strength back. There I am trying to make a laugh. She act like she ignored me, but she, she did good on this day. She got a real good back workout in and I'm proud of her. She did good. Next, we did cable rope pullovers, and I use that rope. A lot of guys use a straight bar. I use that rope because when you get down to about your thigh, you can separate that rope, and it really, really engages your back, guys. Why don't you give this a try with the rope instead of the bar? You see a lot of the old school guys doing this where they'll take a dumbbell, get on the bench, and pull it over their head. This almost works the same way. It's just that when you pull it down to your thigh, you squeeze it out, you separate that row, and that really engages your lower back and your mid back. Last but definitely not least, how can you have a back workout without deadlifts? This is again, my wife hadn't done them in a while, so we were just trying to work on getting her form together. And she did good. Uh, She's done 225 before, but on this day she was tired because we done this at the very end of the workout. So I just let her get away with that lightweight. Here I am with my first set, no strap, no nothing with 315. If you're a man and you weigh over 200 pounds, you should be pulling 315. You should be pulling about 400. So this is my first working set. I went through 315 pretty easy, didn't even cause a sweat. And right here, my wife caught me on the tail end of 405, and I was tired. We just got done killing back. Intense workout. This is my post-workout meal. I got whey isolate in here, and I also got casein, one scoop of each. And I got 168 grams of strawberries, freshly picked from my little garden we got outside. And we even got pet ducks. That's Bobby and Whitney. Say, hey, Bobby and Whitney. Well guys, that's going to do it. They don't want to say much for the camera today. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Hit me up if you're trying to get in shape.